Hey YouTube, it's McFleezy. I got an unboxing video for you and a quick look at the HomePod Mini. It's the little brother of the big HomePod. Just another addition into that whole smart speaker market uh, with the Nest Audio and the Echo and you know your random little ones here and there you know like everybody else trying to get in the, in the uh, smart speaker game but just want to do a quick unboxing set up see what it looks like in hand um, how it pairs with the iPhone you know some of its features um, so, the one thing I will say is that, you know, HomePod itself is just, three, it's, too, it's too much money. It's 300 bucks. That's just a lot of money, right? And Apple's obviously getting killed in this, in the smart home game. Um, I, I would really like to see them do a lot more. Um, I'm not telling them that they have to come out with something like $30, $40, $50, whatever. I get it, but at least justify it. Like the HomePod, if you wanted like better adoption, probably could have been like, I don't know, 200 bucks. Is that a, I don't know if that's a fair price if anybody would want to pay it, but I figured why not? If, you know, if the AirPods Max are five, what, 550, then 200 bucks should be no problem. Anyways, that's not the point. The point of this is uh, it's 100 bucks. Uh, it gets you into the Apple um, smart speaker game. Uh, competes with the other ones. It's got a lot of cool features. I mean, it can hand, it can uh, act as a hub. So if you have some HomeKit devices, um, uh, this is your hub. You know, so it's a lot cheaper than getting Apple TV, which acts as a hub as well. But this is a lot better. Um, I want to say better. Let's just say it's a lot cheaper to get into it. So. <clears throat> That's that thing, and another thing I want to say is that I swear this hasn't been opened, but you know, this is how I received it. So, here's a you know, I mentioned it before in my other videos. Big pet peeve is when I order something online and I just I don't get it exactly how I imagined it. Like, if I were to pick this up at the store. Which I didn't have that option because it wasn't available in the store, so I just ended up ordering it. And I'm not gonna mention who, um, who I got this from. Uh, but look, I didn't get this with plastic. And one of the things, especially uh, with with Apple products, it's the unboxing experience. It's about getting that plastic off and being able to open and everything. Another thing is, I don't know how this was packed. But it looks like it has scratch marks or cut marks along the whole box, everything like that. Now, I'm not I'm not gonna make a really, really big deal about it. It just kinda sucks. If I would have known I probably should have waited because I just picked it up at the store, patient and stuff like that. But I wanted to get it so I could unbox it, show you guys it, you know. Um I wanna put it side by side. I have a nest audio, I just wanted to put it side by side. So you can see the size difference and everything like that. And, um, you know, check out some of it. Actually, check out how it sounds compared to the Nest Audio. Um, so, nice little box. Apple does uh, great in the presentation department. This is supposed to be some kind of like, I don't know what that is. It's like some kind of effect. But let's just open this up. Come on, come on. That's a HomePod Mini. So, like I said, I have this is the first time I'm opening it up, even though it doesn't have the plastic. So there's your top. This is my hand. And that's what it feels like and looks like in the hand. It's got a nice little cloth. Smells smells like a speaker, it smells like a piece of electronics. Actually, it has a weird scent. Almost like, like freshly made fabric, which would make sense. Um, but this fabric is like a little honeycomb fabric thing. 
it's uh it's pretty cool got the sticker on the bottom energy star apple logo so it's got the power cable comes attached so you can't it's not removable power cable is not removable so that's just it is what it is it is USB-C let's see what else comes in a box so let's see divider um, paperwork there's an Apple sticker in here if I can get it out white Apple sticker which is weird the MacBook Air that I have came with a, a gray Apple sticker and this one didn't I mean who cares I don't put these stickers anywhere anyways they stay in the box but power brick and I know that there's this big thing about Apple not including a power brick with the new iPhones 20 watt power brick um it's not like I'm going to reuse this for my iPhone because my HomePod Mini would have to stay plugged in all the time. So, if the, you know, so in my opinion, it could have just, you know, plugged this in, made it all one piece. Instead of two separate pieces, just make one piece if it was always going to be plugged in. Um, but, I mean, you can use it anywhere else. I'm pretty sure that you, you can connect to portable battery and it will work so that's that so there's nothing special about these in, you know, uh, in the box or anything like that but this is the this is a home pod mini power brick let me just tell you about the power brick um i mean i honestly don't care if they put one in the box or not i mean this is what i'm gonna say if you're going to buy anything doesn't matter how much money you spend it on, you know, on it or anything like that. I get the argument. Like, this was a hundred bucks. There's a power brick, an iPhone 12, what, eight hundred bucks, whatever, and there's no power brick. Just, just move. I mean, just get over it and move on. I mean, you can get a power brick from any other brand that will work. You don't have to buy the Apple one, which is, by the way, only nineteen dollars. Um. <clears throat> If their reasoning is to save the environment, uh, who am I to question them? I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. That's not up to me to go dig and find out if they're being honest or not. They're a company. Of course, they're going to want to make money. Maybe they want to make money and save the environment at the same time. I don't know. But you let me know what you think. But be nice about it. Just remember, I, it's just my opinion. I would like to know what your opinion is. You know, uh, you know, leave leave comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, is it a good idea? Should they just made this one plug? Should they include this? Because I know this doesn't cost anything to make. And that is common sense. We know that it does not take uh, a lot of money at all to make this. Uh, I'm not going to guess as to how much, but... You know, we know that, you know, we all know that this doesn't cost much. But you let me know what you think. And, and, and please, yes, be polite and nice about it. My channel is all about kindness. It's about love. It's about love of tech. It's about, you know, having a good time, just checking out some cool stuff. Uh, you know, I'm one of you that's just, you know, we're just looking at just, just stuff that we like. So, enough of that rant. Let's plug this in. Let's uh, hook it up. And um, we will hook it up to my iPhone. And then we will see how it works. Alright, so got the home pod plugged in. Uh, I guess I'm just waiting on power. Which. I should have power. There it is. 
So we're on my home screen and it pops up. HomePod Mini set up. Absolutely. Where do I want to put this one? Let's put this. I kind of want to put it in the kitchen, but is there a kitchen? Yep. Kitchen. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen cooking. It's my favorite thing. Nate. I use Spotify, sir. Sorry. Um, HomePod can recognize your voice. Siri can recognize your voice and allow you to use any HomePod. Of course. So Siri can use personal requests. So you can use it on HomePod to access your messages, reminders, calendar events, and more. When this iPhone is nearby and the voice is recognized. Such as any of these. Do I want to use personal requests? Mm. Nah, not right now. Siri for everyone. Recognize the voices of each person in the room or in this home. Well, there's not that many people here, so let's just go continue. Sure, why not? Agree. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? So now we center. Oh, snap. Did you hear that chime? It's setting it up. It's the future, guys. It's the future. It's coming. Let me just set this here. And it's just setting up. Siri, welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, oh, say she's hey all Siri. Set up. Let's get started. Say, hey Siri, what can you do? Hey Siri, what can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey Siri, play some music. No thanks, but it's already set up. Improve Siri is enabled. Okay, sure. I don't mind. They can get. They're not the only ones that can, you know, get my info. I. I mean, how's it gonna get better? So, that's. Volume up. Tap. Playing all songs. What songs? I'm not trying to get hit with a copyright claim. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I mean, it's a quick, easy setup. Obviously, it pops up just like anything with... Uh, with um, the, the, H, the chip that it has in there. Um, actually, now will be a good time to talk about what's inside this HomePod Mini. Like, for example, it weighs less than a pound, which you already knew that, which is 345 grams, by the way, for those that use metric. Um, so, according to Apple, um, obviously has a dual range driver, a full range driver, um, dual passive radi radiators for deep bass, crisp high frequencies, and this is directly from their website, by the way. Um, it's got the, you know, fabric. They give it a fancy name, a facility transparent. Just means that it has holes in it. 360 degree sound. Stereo pair capable. Airplay 2. Computational audio for real time tuning. Four microphones. So it has four microphones. Um, it's got the touch controls on the top. You know, you, you tap for play and pause. You tap for Siri. You tap, uh, double tap for skip. Triple tap for skip back. You touch and hold for Siri, and you got your volume up and down. It's got Bluetooth 5.0. It's got an ultra wideband chip. So, I, you know, believe it, the wideband chip is like the H1 chip, I think. No? It'll be somewhere down here. You'll see it. Um, the Wi Fi kind of sucks on it. It's 802.11n Wi Fi, but. 
shouldn't need much I guess and that's about it it's compatible with everything from the iPhone SE first gen all the way up to what's now uh, iPod touch which I think what seventh gen iPad mini fours and up or I, it's compatible with a lot of things I was pretty good with that uh, you can use a HomePod Mini to control your HomeKit accessories, which I do have uh, some HomeKit bulbs. So I was going to, I'll check those out for example. Actually, you know what? Now is a good example to try it. Let's try HomeKit here. Hey Siri, turn off my office light. Okay. That's it. That was. Hey Siri, turn on my office light. Done. Boom, done. She's good. Actually, that's not really that hard for her to do. So, uh, let's see. It's got this thing where it says that if... And I don't have Apple Music, but... Uh, you know what? Let's, let me... I don't have any royalty-free music. Let me see. Let's play... Yeah, you know what? Let's play this. So I'm playing this song here. Let's see if it's Airplayer Bluetooth. So, on my Spotify, I selected AirPlayer Bluetooth. Oh, not my PS5. This little speaker sounds really good. I am. I think I want to get a second one to see what it sounds like in stereo pair. But this is pretty dope. Um, this little tiny speaker, I think it sounds just as loud as my Nest Audio. And in fact, I think I want to bring in my Nest Audio so we can uh, look at the size difference and see hear the difference in sound. So let's do that. Also, before I do that, I just want to show you this little tap feature. I was trying to figure it out earlier, but I look, you know, pretty dumb trying to do it. So I have the music playing on the phone. I think it's. It. Now there it is. And then, if I want to take it back with me. There it is. That's pretty dope. Um, I mean, that's all part of this, you know, the wireless ultra wideband chip that's in there. Um, it just allows it to like go back and forth. It's an easy handoff. So um, now we know that that works. And I was doing it wrong before, but now I figured it out. Uh, let me go grab my Nest Audio. We'll see what the size difference looks like and the audio difference. All right, let's talk about the size difference. So, 
Nest Audio, HomePod Mini. So let me put them next to each other. That's exactly the size difference. Now, while the Air uh, HomePod Mini has 360 audio, the Nest Audio is just like got sound front-facing sound, but it sounds good nonetheless. Uh, I love the way it sounds. And oh, okay, cool. I just plugged it back in. That's why it's making that noise. Uh, so quick differences. Obviously, the size. Got a touch pad up there, and this has touch sensors up here. Um, both fabric. I love this color. HomePod or wish you know Apple. I wish you made this in other colors. Um, I, I like how Google comes out with different colors of, of, of some of their products because it's cool, you know. Also, like black and white are just plain boring. Uh, people want to add some more color and some more pop in their lives. So it just makes sense. And it might cost a little bit more, what, to, to get a different dye, to dye something another color. But I, I think it's worth it. Uh, so differences, obviously, besides the size, um, how the audio is uh, put out. But the HomePod, while it has uh, the, power, the power cable is, is built into the speaker, uh, Google has a removable one. It is proprietary, but it's removable. Also, they have a dedicated mic off switch. Which, if you are super concerned about uh, the big bad companies coming to listen in on your boring conversation, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to say boring, but. If you do have an issue with, uh, you know, these conversations, stuff like that, at least that has um, uh, a, a kill switch for the mic, where Apple doesn't. Now, you know, companies will say everything from, we're not we're not recording your stuff, or we don't keep your recordings. You, you take that as it may. Um, I'm not one for conspiracy theories, but it's nice to have an assistant you know, um, a virtual assistant. You know, that's what these are. These aren't real people. These aren't personal assistants or anything like that. But it's nice to have, you know. I can do things like, uh, like, hey, Google, turn off my office light. Okay, turning off this bulb went off. Hey, Siri, turn on my office light. Okay. Look at that. Um, let's see, what else? So you got that. Um, controlled by the Google Home app, HomeKit app, which is obviously built into iPhones. Uh, you can still control the Google Home app, I mean the Nest Audio through the Google Home app on your iOS device. So, if you're like me, let's say you like the iPhone because of its build or for whatever reason, but you want more flexibility, especially in the smart home game, then it's okay to pick up uh, a Nest Audio or an Echo Show where, you know, the you can download the Google Home app and you can control your Google smart devices through there. Um, you know, bulbs, speakers, displays, all that other stuff. Echo Show, same thing. You just download that Alexa app and uh, you go from there. Uh, with iPhone, or I'm sorry, iOS and the HomePod, um, there's only one way to do it, and that's through the Home app. And uh, Home App is just talking to me about intercom. Um, let's just go anywhere. So that's how it would work on the on the Home App uh, on the HomeKit app. So everything's there. There's a kitchen HomePod is paused, living room. Some TVs have this. My TV actually just it's a Vizio TV. Um, and it sucks. So if I could tell you, you have new gaming consoles, don't get, if you want to get an OLED TV, go with an LG. The Vizio one sucks. I, I'm going to say it right then and there. And I should have known there's a reason why it was on sale. It's not that great. Uh, picture quality is good, but as far as like how it interacts with new consoles, 
horrible, horrible. Better, better QLED or that LG Nano cell. Anyways, um, back to smart speakers. Um, more stuff available for your Google uh, smart home. Easier access to bulbs. You can even buy cheap bulbs and they'll work with Google Home. Um, I have Sang LED bulbs that came with the hub, which maybe if I could do things differently, maybe I would get like Wi-Fi bulbs, but it works. And I have two speakers, so obviously I got bulbs that will work with both uh, Google Assistant and Siri. So, um, and anyways, enough about that. Let's listen to what these sound like. I'm going to play the same songs I had before. So I'm going to start that on my phone. And let's send it to the Google Goodness Audio. Sorry, the music stopped since your Spotify account is being used on another device. I think that's enough of a test. I will say this. A lot more clear, a lot more bass. A little bit more louder, but this is all around. This is a little bit more louder because it's front facing. So if I'm, uh, as of right now, I'm standing in front of it. So that's why it sounds very loud. This is a lot more clear. You can, at least for me, I can hear that the sound is going all around. So, uh, I don't think, listen, I think these two are great for the price point. Um, you can also get the Echo, uh, not the Echo Dot, get the Echo. Uh, the Echo is probably going to have a little bit more bass as well. I don't have one here to show you. I don't really use, um... Alexa stuff, but uh, that that they both sound great. I am probably going to lean more towards the Nest Audio because I just like that bassy uh, feeling. Um, now that can change, you know, with a second HomePod Mini. But as of right now, I mean, they both sound great. You want clear audio? HomePod Mini is your guy. If you want bass a little bit louder, just a little bit, it you know it's gonna have to be your Nest Audio. Uh, everybody has different ears, so your ear might hear something different. You see plenty of videos um, online, and some people will say that the HomePod Mini is louder. It, it just it's gonna depend on your ear. Everyone has a different ear for for different things, but I'm happy with both of them. I think you would be happy with both of them. If you really need to have Apple stuff, then go with the HomePod Mini. If, but I, I think I really think that the Nest Audio wins here. I think that um, 
Now I'm probably going to use both. I'm still going to use both. But um, you want to do a smart home thing with more devices that you're able to connect, Nest and Google Assistant, that's, that's going to be your thing. Now, with that being said, I like the fact that Google has um, uh, a smart display. Now, smart display, I know these are smart speakers, that's one thing. But if we're going to talk about the complete picture of the smart home, it's not just speakers and it's just not lights. You got your smart displays. Uh, Google has the hub. You can use your Google Duo, which is awesome, by the way, for video calls and stuff like that. Uh, Amazon has the Echo Show. That's a display there. Um, I would like Apple to come out with a display. I don't know how far reaching that is, um, but if I think if Apple wants people to get into a complete iOS uh, ecosystem, you've got the speakers, you've got some HomeKit devices. You need more, by the way. How about a smart display? Because that would be pretty cool, you know? Uh, I know you can use your iPad, but we're not gonna put an i. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put an iPad on my kitchen counter. I'm sorry, that just doesn't make sense to me. My iPad is used for reading. It's used for media consumption. Um, it's 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 gonna be used for when you're just hanging out. You don't want to use a computer, but your phone is too small. So a smart display makes sense. That is the um, comparisons of these speakers. That has been my video here of the unboxing and the comparison of the HomePod Mini and also versus the Nest Audio, but mainly the HomePod Mini. Uh, I would recommend either one, very similar in price, uh, probably similar in price. I think they're 99 bucks a piece. Uh, you can get them basically anywhere. Um, just try to get them at the store so you don't get them damaged when you get them in the mail. So um, that has been my video talking about the HomePod Mini. Uh, you let me know in the comments below if you have any one of these. Did you pick one up? Which one did you pick up? Which one do you like? What do you like and don't like? What, what do you want to see? And um, if you like my videos, want to see some more stuff, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button, notifications on, comment below, let me know, let's have a conversation, let's talk about all the cool stuff that is out there in the tech world and what's to come, what's, what would be really cool. Um, so I appreciate you coming, stopping by, checking out my video, I'll check you guys out in the next one.